video slash haul collection, whatever you want to call it, for Nature's Essence Soaps, Danny Soaps. They're amazing. I did have hauls up of every purchase that I made from Danny, but I know I took down my YouTube channel to open up a new one. Long story, but I finally have everything situated. So today I was looking at all my soaps and I figured, you know what, I'm going to make a video slowly of each soap collection that I have from each soap maker. And just let you know how I'm enjoying the soaps because I've been using them for a while, so now I can honestly tell you um, how I like them, how the scents are, and things like that. I might not be able to go into complete details because I have a lot of Danny soap, so if there's a request for a certain scent, just let me know and I'll do a video on that scent. But I'm going to get right into the video. And here is Danny's packaging. I have one that I left in the package because I'm saving this for the fall. And I am usually not one that goes with the scent you know, for that season. I go with whatever I feel like, but I'm not sure if she's making this scent again. And this is pumpkin apple butter. And her packaging's amazing. Um, she's got the little butterfly in the corner. That's her trademark. And in the back of her soap, she always labels when they're ready. And she coordinates each soap with a bow. So pumpkin apple butter has the orange bow. And this scent in the topping, look at that, is amazing. It's in the packaging, so it might be really hard to see. This one is a perfect combination of pumpkin apple butter. It's not too much pumpkin. It's not too much apple butter. You can smell both of them, and they're mixed beautifully together. It smells so delicious and so yummy. I cannot wait to use this soap in the fall. Just this type of soap scent for me would be a fall scent. Awesome. Next is Danny's Hot Apple Pie. And in the back of this one, you'll be able to see the apple chunks in there that she made them look like apple chunks, I should say. And this is so awesome. It's so pretty on the top, isn't it? And this smells exactly like an apple pie. As you can see, I took a big chunk, big chunk off the side. Um, this is so yummy. If you're, if you love apples and apple pie, you know, you will love this scent. It is delicious it's refreshing to me because it's got the apples and it's a sweet scent I really like this next I'm gonna tell everybody um, this one here is cucumber melon and some of the top is gonna be a little discolored that's because it's been in my box of soap goodies so of course it didn't come with the little browns like that it came with just real pretty glitter but um, I've had this one for a while. I, I, I have so many soaps, I'm trying to use them all. I'm really trying, but I took a good chunk of this. This is Cucumber Melon, and this is a dupe for Bath & Body Works. Bath & Body Works is discontinuing this scent as far as I know, so if you love Cucumber Melon, you're going to want to find your soap from soap makers, um, be, or lotion, because you're not going to find it at Bath & Body Works. And this is, a, this is an exact dupe to Cucumber Melon. Um, from Bath and Body Works. So try to find some of these if you love this scent and stock up if you can because it's not going to be around soon. I believe in the next month or two it's going to be gone. Maybe sooner. This one is her Margarita Soap. And I love this soap. I took a huge half of this. It smells like a sweet margarita drink, exactly. You can smell the lime, you can smell the bubbly, it tickles your nose, it's awesome, it's so refreshing, it is a strong scent, so your bathroom is gonna smell absolutely amazing while you're lathering up with this. Oh, it is delicious. Perfect time of the year for this. Grab your margarita drink, bring it in the tub with you, and soap away with the soap, you're gonna be in heaven. It is awesome. Next, this is her Lemon Lavender, and I've only used a little bit of it. This one here is very pretty soap, except I could, smell, I could smell more lavender than lemon, I have to be absolutely honest. When I smell it, I could smell lemon and I could smell lavender, but when I use it in the tub, it's more of a lavender scent. So I use this if I'm like really need to relax. Um, I really wish the lemon popped out more, so maybe if Danny decides to make this soap again, she can just add a little bit more lemon because I smell more of a lavender. And she put pretty little lavender seeds in there. So it's a little bit of an exfoliating effect. But it is a pretty soap. If you love lavender, you'll love this scent. I just wanted a kick more of lemon. 
but it's still a really nice soap. This I have not used yet. So pretty. This is hot pink pomegranate. Isn't it so pretty? It looks so delicious. This you can smell the pomegranate. And I'm not sure if this is pink sugar because it says pink. But it smells sugary and it smells like the pomegranate. The pomegranate is not too strong. It's not overpowering. It's a softer pomegranate with a mixture. And I want to say pink sugar because it's a very soft scent. Very pretty scent. Um, it's got, like, like I said, got the citrus scent in there, the fruity scent, but it's also got like a little bit of a sugary scent. So it's really actually a very pretty scent. This is her um, Lick Me All Over and it's such a cute bar. You don't even want to cut into those lips. My son always wants to grab this because of the colors. And I have cut off a chunk. And this one is like a little bit of a floral scent to me, so I do not use this too often. I use it if I'm in the mood to relax. That's when I use a floral scent. But I do like the scent, but it's not my favorite because I'm more of a bakery or a fruity scent. But I had to get it because it's so pretty. But my son doesn't care. My youngest son's like, ah, I want this soap because it's just so different, so funky looking. But you'll like the Lick Me All Over soap if you like mm, a little bit of a light, perfumey floral scent because it is a pretty scent. Next, who is my all-time fave? This is Champagne Pear. Oh my goodness, you can smell Champagne and Pear. Many of you have heard about this scent. I, I did a video on it a while back and I'm kicking myself for at least not keeping some of my videos. This is amazing. I don't know how she got it. It smells exactly like Champagne and Pears. It's got the bubbly, it's got the tickle of the nose of the bubbles from champagne. It just really makes you feel like you're drinking champagne with a little bit of a pear scent. It is so good. It's super strong, super refreshing, sweet at the same time. You've got, you've got the clean, the sweet, the strong, and the bubbly all mixed in one. It's awesome. Awesome. Oh, I love that. This one here is our Apple Mango Tango, and I have not cut this one either. Look at the pretty texture on that, huh? It's so gorgeous. I'm going so fast because I don't have as much time as I used to, and I've got so many soaps of hers. This one is a lighter scent of apple and mango, so it's not a strong scent, which I'm glad because mango might be a little bit too strong for me but the combination of the apple and mango is a nice soft to medium scent so it's not like a smack in your face scent a little bit of a refreshing clean scent to me is what I have to say about the apple mango tango and I love the fact like I said that she did not make it too overpowering with the mango because I was a little bit afraid of that but she didn't and perfect for this time of the year for the summer those hot days and I saved my absolute fave for last. This is her Honey Vanilla Love Dust. Isn't that beautiful? It just looks like a big chocolate marshmallow bar. I love it. I got a big chunk of that off. This you can smell the honey and the vanilla, but I always smell chocolate with this. I don't know why. It reminds me of a sweet chocolate milk chocolate scent with vanilla and honey. I love it. I don't know why it smells like that because it's so good isn't it ah looks delicious I absolutely am in love with the scent it just makes me want to eat this bar I it's so comforting to me all I can say is it's a very comforting scent I adore this scent my favorite my all-time faves is honey vanilla love dust and champagne pear right now these two I absolutely love them. My favorite scents from Danny. I have a lot of samples of hers, but I'm not going to go into them right now. I'm just going to go into the bar of the soap that I have. But these are my all-time favorite. Must-haves. Now, if there's any soap scents that you like here, I know Danny right now closed down her art fire to um, do a few things with her business, and then she'll be back up and running. But I know for a fact, Danny Sweetheart, that a scent here that you like just shoot her a message and ask if she can make it for you. She, I'm sure she'll do requests if she has the um, the on hand. Because um, I'm going to tell you, you're going to want to stock up on Cucumber Melon, the dupe for Bath and Body Works, if um, she has the scent available. Because it's going to be gone. I think um, it's going to be gone. Of, they're not making it anymore anyway. So 
whatever you find in Bath and Body Works, grab now and then find your favorite soap maker and stock up. This is a perfect soap for this time of the year. And like I said, Honey Vanilla Love Dust and Champagne Pear, you have to ask Danny for. These are must, must, must tries. If you like bakery scents, which that's what Honey Vanilla Love Dust reminds me, must. And if you love that something fruity and bubbly is Champagne Pear. So that is my soap collection from Nature's Essence. And, oh, Danny, you're amazing. I love all my soaps. They lather awesome. They lather so good on my skin. The scent is, my bathroom just smells amazing after using your soaps. They are, oh, they're amazing. They're moisturizing, lathering so good. I, I have very sensitive skin, and I never have a problem with Danny's soaps. So when she opens up her art fire shop, go pick up your soaps from Danny. And if you have any requests, just shoot her a message and see if she can make them for you. Have a wonderful soapy day. Bye-bye.